What's up guys, Malachi here. Today I wanted to talk to you about polygraph machines. Now, to start things off, I have taken polygraph tests at two different points in my life and have come to the same conclusion both times. These machines are absolutely abysmal and only a moron would trust the outcome of one and only an idiot would be afraid to take a polygraph test. It's actually pretty amusing that polygraphs have been dubbed as quote unquote lie detectors and have been embraced as such. But enough of that hooey. Let me tell you about the uh, about my experience with these unbeatable, brilliant pieces of crime-solving genius. The first time I took a polygraph, I was about 15 years old at a place called the Career Center. Back in my day, in high school, we had electives that you could choose, and I ended up choosing one that would be as far away from my school in a remote building as possible to miss the most of my school day. Tons of classes are offered at this off-site location, and kids come from every other local school in order to attend these elective classes. It's a nice little melting pot of slackers that are just looking for an easy class and suck-ups trying to pad their extra curriculars. Then you have the kids like me that really don't give a fuck what they're learning. So they randomly pick a class and hope that they'll miss a nice enough chunk of the school day. So I routinely have my animal sciences class, that's the one I chose, at this building that eats up about an hour commute of my school day every day. So one day when I arrive a little early for my class, I noticed that inside of the building there was a nice little congregation of students around a police officer with a machine on the table hooked up to some kid that volunteered. Now this was my first time seeing a polygraph in the wild, and it was pretty intense. Cord around the chest, clamp on the finger, band around the arm, the whole getup. You know, you've seen it in movies, you've seen it in shows. Anyways, this kid is stammering these answers to stupid fucking questions like, What color was the sky yesterday? And what month is it? Have you ever skipped class? You know, dumb shit like that. And this kid's needle is all over the fucking place, and this cop decides that the kid is lying about arbitrary things. Fair enough strategy for the officer. But the kid breaks down and admits that he was lying about what the officer accused him of. It was ridiculous. It was straight up pathetic. Like, how the fuck can't you keep a lie going for more than 10 seconds? Anyways, when the kid was done, the officer asked if anybody else wanted to volunteer to do a demonstration. Obviously, I volunteered because why the fuck not, right? I wanted to see if I could fool the stupid thing. A fun little personal challenge. So I raise my hand, step forward, and get hooked up. Cop goes, state your name. I say something dumb like Jerry McDonald or some shit, I don't remember. Machine says I'm telling the truth. Okay, score one for me. Cop asks, what color is this guy? I say pink just to mess with the guy. Machine says I'm telling the truth again. Now the cop looks a little confused, and he literally says to me, Jerry, you have to take this seriously. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to continue. Like, what the fuck? How can you put so much faith in a machine and use it in a very important matters when it's so fucking easy just to say dumb shit without thinking about it and the needle won't move? So he asked me two more questions and I wanted to see if I could prompt a false positive. Knowing that this machine picks up on heart rate, sweat levels, and breathing intensity when he asked if today was Tuesday, which it was, I wanted to really embarrass this guy. So I started thinking of some embarrassing shit that had happened to me earlier in the school year. Shit, shit that also pissed me off. Earlier in the year, somebody stole my PE uniform from my locker. For those of you who don't know what PE is, it's where you change into these dingy-ass clothes and run around like fucktards for an hour doing a designated bull period. Yep, confusing, I know. Bear with me, though. Schools used to require you to move around, though. Now, not only was it fucking gross that another dude stole my PE uniform, but I ended up having to pay for a second one or risk failing the class by not being able to wear it. Just thinking about that instance just makes me livid. So anyways, the memory was enough to do the trick and my heart started racing and my breathing changed. And what do you know? We got a false positive. At that point, the officer was pretty confused and also getting really frustrated. So he said he was just going to ask me one more question. He asked me if I love my parents. I do, as sappy as that sounds. So I tell him with a straight face and a calm demeanor that both of my parents are dead. Oops, the machine says that I told the truth. He unhooked me at this point and sarcastically told me that I did a great job and that they don't work for everyone. Wait, hold the fuck up. Don't work for em everyone? What the, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Maybe, you know, they only work on gullible morons, you know? How about that shit? Although, I did have my revenge, even though I didn't say anything to this officer, because this was still in front of about 30 kids, mind you. This man was completely and utterly shamed by a 15-year-old that was just fucking around. 
Now that's a thinker. So these stupid pieces of shit are supposed to help convict criminals. Sometimes they're used as evidence in cases of paternity or lawsuits. That shit's just fucked up. What? I, 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 I can't even comprehend that. Now my second instance with a polygraph, I already knew that I had the ability to beat this stupid fucking thing. Because everybody does. Because it's a fucking scam. And a snake oil product. So I applied to be a police officer not too long ago, and the interview process went as follows. First and foremost, they schedule you alongside with 200 other possible recruits to take a series of tests. The first scheduled day, or test day, you come in, and they sit you in a massive classroom, and you take a little test with, filled with possible scenarios. Pretty generic shit, like, um, so you're talking to a person, and you notice that they have a knife, what do you do? Or you see someone standing in someone else's yard and they've been there for 10 minutes. Do you approach this person or do you call the police? You know, really generic shit like that. Anyways, after that test, which is multiple to or choice, uh, they have you do a memorization exercise where they show you a picture for three minutes and you have to remember as many details as you can about the picture. Yet again, pretty generic. Although this one's a little bit better than the other scenarios because... You have to try and remember, you know, like, where, what street did this happen on? What color was this car? What color was this guy's jacket? What color was this guy's hair? What ethnicity was this guy? Uh, what way was he facing? Um, was there a fire hydrant there? What other cars were present? What were the buildings in the background? Just shit like that. They really asked you to try and pick up on as much as you could. So, yeah, and then they give you a, a little questionnaire that's also multiple choice, asking you about um, the different random options that they decide to ask you about. Yeah, that, that, that test is actually pretty neat. That was one of the cooler interview uh, aspects of applying for the job. Uh, then the next test is a physical fitness test. Easy peasy. Run 1.5 miles, do as many push-ups and sit-ups as you can in a minute, and run an obstacle course. The obstacle course was actually pretty fun. As long as you have any semblance of athleticism, this shit's a joke. It's just the easiest thing in the world. The third test day is a polygraph test, which is where shit went a little off the rails for me. Now, I know for a fact that some of the things that I've done in the past would completely nullify me as a recruit possibility if they came to light. Not saying that I have stolen or done drugs or gotten into fights, but at the same time not saying that I haven't. Wink, wink. So when it's time for my polygraph test, I get asked all the questions and I answer them rapidly, confidently, and pretty much lie when it comes to every question. Not a problem. But here's the problem. The test goes on for like 10 minutes and I'm actually nervous about whether or not this is going to impact whether I get the job. A little bit more info on this test. A polygraph test costs about $200 to run because you have to have a polygraph specialist uh, be reading it while it's being run and the ink and the machine itself costs a lot to just use. Okay, let that sink in. $200 just to start this fucking thing up, and that's for about 15 minutes worth of time. Now, when I was being asked questions in the beginning, I was taking two deeper breaths for the guy that was interrogating me. The guy that has been doing these tests for about 20 fucking years, and he is an expert in the matter. So on the third question, this guy gets mad at me and goes, You have to relax! These answers are unusable. We have to start over. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm being calm, answering honestly. What does this guy want from me? I want this job. Obviously, I'm nervous. So I tell him that I don't know what I'm doing wrong, and he asks me why I'm breathing so deep. I tell him I'm nervous, and he goes, Well, don't be nervous. Just tell the truth. And I'm thinking, God damn it, I'm not nervous about the questions. Who gives a fuck about the questions? I'm nervous about whether I'll get the job. And if that translates into these tests, well, then I'm fucked. Completely fucked. So he asks me if I'll be able to breathe more normal and be less fidgety. And I say I can try. And this motherfucker raises his voice and goes, either you can or you can't. It's not rocket science. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I can do it. I'm yet again getting pretty pissed on the inside because this asshole just yelled at me because I botched this stupid fucking test. So we start again. What's your name? What day is today? Is it April? Have you ever been in a fight? Have you ever abused a girlfriend or significant other? Have you ever stolen from an employer? Have you ever stolen anything, period? Have you ever done drugs? Have you ever sold drugs? Have you ever cheated in school? Boom. All those questions fucking walk in the park. But then we have this last question, the one that fucks up everything. To your knowledge, 
Have you answered all of these questions truthfully? So this one throws me for a little bit of a loop, and I kind of hesitate, and that hesitancy translates to the goddamn needle, and they take me aside and ask me about why. Mind you, this didn't register as a lie. There's actually three options. There's truth, nervous, and lie. And this was a nervous flag, and they interrogated me for like an hour about why, uh, about why not every answer was marked truthful. What the fuck? So I come up with a whole spiel about how I borrowed a calculator from work once and now keep it in my work bag, and maybe subconsciously I thought that I stole it. Nope. Or no good. They end up determining that I am untestable, and thus I no longer get to move forward with the interview process. What the hell is that shit? Yeah, I lied, but they didn't catch any of the lies. And to top it all off, I spoke to an officer before the polygraph, and he told me that they actually use these things as officer witness merit. This guy told me that any time it was him testifying against someone, the officer did a polygraph. What in the fuck is that? How is that legal? These things are so fucking easy to fool, and you have people's lives at stake because of their use. So as you all know, the, there are fucking classes designed to teach you how to fool a polygraph, but I'll save you the money and teach you how in about a minute. Here's the thing with the machine. It doesn't know if you're telling the truth. Chances are, neither do the police or the person that's giving you the test. So if only you know the truth, then just fucking lie. As soon as you lie, think about something else. Do not fixate on the question that was asked to you. Here's what I did. I answered my questions and then started singing song lyrics in my head immediately afterwards for every answer. Lie or truth? Do not fixate on the question. I know he puts a tack in his shoe in that One Oceans movie, but it's so much simpler than that, I promise you. Oh wait, never mind. The officers then went on to tell me that since I was untestable, that I may display sociopathic tendencies. Fucking awesome. Anyways, that's my story about and how to beat a lie detector. Just remember, nobody in that room knows the truth but you. If they did, you would already be convicted. Alright guys, peace out.